Hello and welcome to episode six of Winner Takes All. Today, we're all dressed up in a certain way because it's a special day. There's been a lot happening, a lot of questions from you guys, a lot of questions from the people in the save. So with that, I'm gonna head over to um, my colleague, Jams. Jams, take it away. Hello, hello, hello. A lot has happened over the past few days. Wait, can I just say, yeah? Hey, can, hey, I, can I just say? Hey, 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 wait, hey, wait, wait, hey, wait, 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 Order. 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 And I'm going to read this manifesto that I wrote to present to you lot, the viewers, what has occurred over the past few days. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to discuss the betrayal, the lies, the deception committed by TN25. Today, we will be going through the evidence provided that has caused anguish, confusion, frustration, and anger throughout this ordeal. I didn't even know you could write like this. This began when Thomas created. I didn't know he could write. He <laughs> used chat GPT. Continue, continue, anyway. continue. Hurry this up, I'm cold, man. This hey, began. Hey. Hey, hey, Order in the court. Order. Order in the court. Talk. Talk. This began when Thomas created a janky tactic <laughs> resembling a YouTuber's tactical ideology known as RDF, which stirred some confusion amongst the mandem. Accusations were made mainly by Mark and Aaron Ramsey, rightfully so. And this caused Thomas to lie and deceive us all <laughs> with lines such as, I said it to Manny, I said it to all of you, I've been studying this game. Up. I haven't copied anything word for word. I studied it. <laughs> and my favorite, <laughs> I switched to a shadow striker because the players running into each other. <laughs> word to J-Hoss, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> At this moment, you are almost absolved of your crimes. But in life, the truth will always come to light. Amongst Amen. this despair, a glimmer of hope in the depths of the YouTube comments, <laughs> who goes by the name of Milkman R9, provided evidence that led to your demise. Word for word, bar for bar, the roles, the instructions all match. TN25, you will pay for your crimes. Amen. You are a scam and a liar. <laughs> Amen. And let me leave you with, with these parting words. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of the human. That means. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the defender of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay vengeance upon you. <laughs> wait, Thank wait. You. Thank you, Jabs. <laughs> Leading on from that, I got something from um, the book of Proverbs. It says, oh my God. Oh my God. whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Amen. And with that, I ask you, <laughs> I ask you, how do you find Thomas, aka TN25, guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. Guilty, Your Honor. Guilty. guilty. Moving on, guys. How would you like to proceed with the punishments? I think we should give Thomas a minute and a half to speak on his side. He has said things behind the scenes to us that obviously the viewers and the live watchers don't actually know. So I think we should uh, give him a chance to clear the air from his side at least. My, am I good to speak now? Yes. Can the prisoner is the prisoner finally able to? You may speak. Um, you yeah, may speak. Bring forward, bring forward my words. Proceed. So, um, first of all, I just want to say, Jams, I didn't know you could write like that. That was um, uh, it was good. It was good. I was gonna cuss you because you had a week. So I'm you shame. Did, you, did, you, did, you did pretty well. Uh, in regards to my crimes, there's not much that I can say. I I, I admit that I was. I was wrong. Um, it was, it was a feign of innocence huh? um, in my part because I didn't actually expect it to 
go the way that it went. Um, obviously, it was wrong in regards to, you know, doing it in the first place, but I just didn't expect it to go so so well. But other than that, um, I've learned my lesson. It's not something that I normally do. Um, it's not something that I've normally done. I've never actually um, done anything like that. So I, ple- I pray that, you know, you take that into consideration when you are um, providing your punishment. The punishment in regard to um, what you plan to do. Again, I'm happy to accept it. I've been happy to accept it. You lot know that from on and off stream. I said, whatever you lot want to do, you do it and we'll go accordingly. We'll move from there. So we can go from there. So I just pray that, you know, you take it into consideration and um, yeah. I have a, I have a quick pres- question. I have a quick question for Prisoner 25. Um, for, for clarity, what is it that you actually did? Because people are still wondering right now. For anyone that is unsure, as to what I did, I came across a tactic on TikTok, which was for the Bournemouth team, and I implemented it. Maybe changed maybe one or two things. Hey, and no, my, still lying. And I'm not lying. Uh, wait, Let I'm not speak. Order. I'm not lying. I'm not, I'm, I'm not lying. I'm Let not speak. lying. I'm, I implemented some short um, passing instructions on one of the wingers, and I changed one fullback. Um, I changed a wing back to a fullback attack because I know that they do different roles. Those are the two changes that I made. Um, so that's what I've been accused of here today. Um, again, being found guilty. So yeah, that's pretty much what it was. Mm. I shall pose the question again. Do you feel good about yourself? And I shall <laughs> reply to you in the same way I replied to Mr. GH earlier. I said, please go to Drake views. I think it's track four <laughs> and, um, we can move on accordingly. Nonsense. But the viewers, uh, um, discretion that is uh, flown away is by Drake. So there is no remorse. Guilty! In your process of conviction. The milk man didn't tell us about this tactic. He would have got away with it. That's all I have to say. Okay, so what, what are we saying is the um, punishment then? It's... Can we get a minus 15 points deduction? Minus 15 um, point deduction. We have our, we have our yes, we go to the Okay. Town suit till the end of the season. That is Amen. one of our suggestions. Obviously, inevitably, affirmation burn. The total money that Thomas has accumulated has um, should, at the very least, be deducted to zero. And also, Twitter needs a uh, spoken oh. apology in the clown suit. Oh, you, want a public apolo- you want a public apology? Uh, public yes. Apologies. yes. <laughs> I mean, considering the anguish and um, confusion and frustration and anger that you caused amongst the your peers. The mental trauma that he caused me. Yeah, was there, was no me- there was no mental <laughs> trauma. You were just shouting. Okay, let's yeah. let's let's start to speed this up and go on. Um, yeah. So, let's Thomas, go. how do you plead to these charges? I mean, if I plead guilty, it's less of a punishment, right? That's how it works. No, well, because, yeah, you plead guilty and show that, remorse. That, that. You've shown no remorse. I have, <laughs> shown, I have shown remorse. I have. He said zero he said remorse. No, I said no. He asked me if I feel a way. I said no. But I said, obviously, I'm not going to feel bad that it's, it's happened. It's happened. Do you know what I mean? But I did say that it was a feign of innocence on my part. So you might want listening to my minute and a half. I said it was a feign of innocence on my part. I didn't mean for it to go the way that it did. And I said I apologize. Is that not what I said? That's the first thing I said. So what you mean Matt is you didn't mean to be seventh. <laughs> No, I, did, I didn't mean for it to go the way no, that it went. So it, so so at, at okay, day, okay, okay. Order, order, order. I said, order, order. I said, it's not something that I do. It's not something that I've done in the past. And I said, I just pray you take that into consideration. That's it. Okay. I haven't said anything else. Really quickly, <clears> I'll ask you, are you guys willing to drop one um, punishment? No. No. I'm willing to add another one. I, I do I do feel that for, for the general continuity of the save, as much as I want to back it and I have backed it for days, on consideration, I do believe the clown shoot uh, clown suit should be worn for potentially the next recording only, instead of for the entirety of the rest of the save. Okay, so we've gone with clown suit for two episodes. Well, um, one. One, 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 one. Oh, is it for one. just next episode? Yes. No, it was yeah. this episode as well. I thought it was this and next. You this and next. Oh, this next would make sense, though. This and next one. Oh, this and next okay. Sense, is, though. You got it. Are you wearing it now? No. You <laughs> better, better, <laughs> better get it out of that packaging, <laughs> Yeah, you've got time to find it. Don't worry, G. So, two episodes, 15 points, Yep. and... Money on zero. zero. Money on zero. Zero funds, yes. Oh, and obviously the tactics. To, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, that's... Yeah. got to change yeah, yeah. tactics. Okay, cool. Oh boy. Oh, so jam, I'm so, behind either. Someone said you should squeeze your nose, G.
<laughs> hey, Arsenal hey, gave me the job interview. No way. He actually has, you know. This oh, wait. Sense. So do I. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> give me the job! Give me the job! Give me the job! It's oh fit, yeah. Wait, wait, it's let all, me. It's all right, isn't it? Wait, let uh, me see Thomas. Let right. me see Thomas. Send it to you. Send it to you. Send it to you. is too big, fam. Send it to you. Send it to you. I'm like a virtual pro, fam. You got a split it. You know what's going to be so funny? What's that? When someone bags a goal, you just see the point. Oh, no, the points have changed already. Oh, I'm not going down. I'm not going down. <laughs> I can't lie. This trim with the beard. <laughs> this guy. Hey, like, this guy's moving like guys, them man. guys that enjoy being on the wing, man. <laughs> Come on with the beard. Hey, what? <laughs> I'm a re-offend. <laughs> yeah, they're re-offend because they know they're getting out soon. Daily offender, crazy extender, man. Like, oh, mm. this Brighton team are going to pass me. I know I Villa have got something cooking for me, man. I forgot how Go dead on. this team is, fam. I can't yeah, on, bro. Go I'm on. literally Go looking on. at on. this team. Abuemo! Let's go. Come on, Arsenal. Are you watching? Are you watching this Arsenal? Uh, hey, my boy is Arsenal, fam. Come on. <laughs> You know what's mad, yeah? It's, Thomas scored one goal. It's out of the relegation zone. <laughs> go on, Niger. Go on, Niger. Release it. Release it. Release it. What's wrong with Hoyland? Someone check on Hoyland. He's in pain. He's just holding himself. Post. Great challenge, you. No way, man. No, man. Oh. Working it nicely. Come on. Something, anything. Come on. Oh, my gosh. What's the goal? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Square it, man. Go on. Go on. And Buemo. One and one. And Buemo, no. How are you giving that pen away, you absolute mug? What? <laughs> Mighty oh, bees yeah. are back. Let's go watch my new team. Ah, oh, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, please be on side. Please be on side. Please, 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 please. Come on. Get that in the back of your net. What's the score there? 2-1 to me. Two, What's one, wrong two, one, with this one, Arsenal one. team, fam? Shossard, don't you dare. Scott McKenna, Scott I'll McKenna, you've way. given I'll away a pen that. and now scored an own goal. You're taking the piss. Honestly, uh, let, uh, let me, I'm going to do a Manny. Let me get my hands on Scott McKenna. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Mm. How? Hmm, Arsenal made an offer for Tony of 10 M's. A smart thing. <laughs> I stop. I stop right now. <laughs> I'm going to hold off on that one still. <laughs> stop right now. I said that. Yeah. Hello and welcome okay. to the round <laughs> roundup week 27, game week 27. We're going to start with Arsenal at the Emirates up against Fulham. It dropped points and the vacant manager's position is up for grabs. Two human managers going head to head. Uh, I don't know if any of us will get, but 2-2, two, two, it's not a great result, but it might mean that a new manager, uh, one of us is on the horizon. Bournemouth recently deducted 15 points, uh, drawing 2-2, two, two, rescuing a point at Villa Park. Cook with an 89th minute goal despite being down to 10 men. Brentford beating Tottenham for the second time this season and Buemo finally in Bremen in the 20th minute with the only goal in the game. Meanwhile, Nottingham Forest away to the Seagulls Brighton, Awonia with a double and uh, McKenna with an own goal and also giving away a penalty in that match as well. Uh, not looking good for him. Uh, from what I've heard in the rumours in the papers, he's been fined a couple of weeks wages. Uh, yeah, so not too good for him. Crystal Palace still rock bottom. Vardy... Uh, back in the Red Bull and getting the ball in the back of their net as well. 1-0. Enzo Ferrari looking like he could be seeing the sack for the second time round. And uh, on the other side of things, Southampton falling to defeat as well. Insecure jobs. Danny Wright is on the list again. And uh, Ward Prowse's goal was not enough to get them back into that matchup. Uh, Leeds drawing 1-1 with Newcastle. Newcastle trying to push for fourth. And uh, Leeds um, holding them back in that in that race there as well. Kone with the goal in the 55th minute. There is your roundup after game week 27. Let's see how the season pans out. If we get a job for a team that's higher than everybody else and we end the season with that team above everybody else, does that then mean you get the prize for I'm gonna go above everyone else? That's a good question. What do you guys think? Absolutely. Nah. 
No, nah, you, you, you basically have, reset them because you, you, you didn't do that. Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, okay. I think you but, void you void that, so that amount of money. So, so the question is: so if someone gets a good job, they can't win the prize. That doesn't really make sense. Yeah, because I was gonna say, because what yeah. if you're because what if you're like sixth and Chelsea's fifth, and you join Chelsea? I mean, if you get a good job, same time you've earned it, right? Yeah, you don't just get that. Yeah. So you technically, it, yeah. So... Um, Scott McKenna, you think you're playing today? <laughs> Good banner. Good banner. Hey, do you know I was still creasing? Jams came out with heavy I scripture, fam. Bro. bro, you know I've known Jams longer than everyone here. I ain't ever, ever <laughs> heard this brother recite a sign from the Bible. Ever. <laughs> I know this guy since serious, bro. Know this guy since he was 10. Nah, he's just a drama queen. <laughs> Not even 10. How Jams? How long have I known you, bro? Since like year one, whatever that is. Yeah, year, year one. Yeah, I've known, that's how long I've known this Joe man for. Eee, that recent form, we have to ding these, man. What the flip? Wow. Hey, guys, and welcome to the first all-round human game of the episode. We have Nottingham Forest at home against Brentford. Both sides are literally not in the best of form. However, both of the managers are considered to be doing really well, both in contention for the Arsenal job, and it's looking to be a great spectacle. What do you think about this one? My host and the most, TN25. Yes, it's going to be a very interesting game. Like you said, both managers overachieving right now. It'll be interesting to see where this game goes. It'll also be interesting to see that regardless of, you know, the team, Ricky yeah, J. Jones uh, will be interested to see what he's got in store. Questions asked multiple times this season whether he is of the level <laughs> and he has another chance today to showcase his abilities and prove the doubters wrong. Um, he's not even in the squad. Our knees played oh. in. Not even in the squad. He's himself there. He has to take those chances. And it seems to be a theme with Nottingham Forest. Um, yep. I remember correctly from the previous episode, Brennan Johnson missed an open goal, but scored the harder chances. They make such hard work of it. Go on, and Buemo. And Buemo. Square it. Buemo doing everything oh. right and all the hard work apart from scoring. And to add, to add on to what you said there, Thomas, yes, of course, Nottingham Forest have been missing clean and clear-cut chances, but you can't lie. We have been hearing, our knee every time. <laughs> time. So they do have goals in them. I think he's got like four goals this season. Relax. No. <laughs> Lingo! Oh, and there's another goal to add to the tally for the Nottingham Forest boys. Speaking Jesse! of goals, we were mentioning how they were lacking goals. Lingard's only going to pull that one out. That is magical. Cuts in off the left flank, rules the way to the corner flag and does a shaku. Fantastic <laughs> work from the Young Player of the Year. That's a Young Player of the Year. <laughs> that guy's 30 plus. Hey, Nottingham Forest Thank playing God. ball now. Lingard, looking, he's already caused enough advantage. trouble. Looking what are we doing? Intercepted into Crowd. the silver. Where are you Killing going? Why are you going back? Down the wing. What did we do in training? This is negative football. And not even for us taking no chances. They're not trying to play out from the back. Oh, oh, no. like Go on. Marmosh! Marmosh! It looks to me like it was just on. That should be bucking up the ideas of the Foresters. Easily, easily penetrated by one through ball. It's an open game here. Go on, Marmosh! Oh, Go on! Marmosh. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are these men doing? Just put it to the keeper's left or right. Just, you haven't got to take the lever off the ball, son. Why is he <laughs> and go into the second half. I think both teams will be looking to take the game to the next level. Both having chances created. Both also making mistakes. Not keeping possession. This could go any way, Thomas. It could go anyway, Drew, and it's looking very, very interesting. There were some clear-cut chances. Marmouche has to put the ball in the back of the net. He does, he does. The he same does. can be said by our knee. And it's pretty much a summary of both these team seasons. With Ivan Tony missing, they haven't really been able to find that 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 goal scorer that they're looking oh. for. That's yeah, right. That, 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 that might be a contributing factor as to why both these managers are eyeing up that Arsenal job. You know, the attacking options, Hayes. Go on, Abuemo! Go on, Abuemo! Ilian Abuemo. And again, Drew, it's the same story. It's the same old story yeah. like Skepta mentioned. You know, straight at the goalkeeper. We might have to rename him Killian Abuemo. We might have to change his name. He's not really killing them at the moment. He's not really having that final impetus anymore. Might have to go back to Brian or whatever. <laughs> No, what's going on? What's going on, man? Come on. Ironically, this this current status, Nottingham Forest winning 1-0, does take them above Arsenal in the league table with a game Ooh. in hand. Question marks over. 
Uh, oh. The choice is there from the manager. What he sees a squad that he can do something with. He's made the I mean, most of this Forest side. So it's very it hard works. to argue. You know, when you have Come Lingard on. and Odegaard, you can see the golf. <laughs> really, 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 of course, of course, of course. <laughs> you know. Go on, Potter. Oh, Come on. Tucked it in like a seasoned pro, Keen Lewis Potter. And Nottingham Forest will be kicking themselves there. Carl they have to take their chances. They and do. To be fair, to be fair to Lewis Potter, barring Ivan Tony, he's been an excellent, excellent, excellent choice. He's scored goals, made assists. He's been nothing but fantastic. And they have a corner here, Ren and Lodi swings it in the post, but no. he's taken away. Stay on your feet. Our knees kicked it all the way back. Tony! Oh, Tony. 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 Oh, he just hasn't Man. got the pace. Because you're just thinking it. about Madrid. Lingard. Oh, he's no. been dispossessed. Oh, Killing him, Buemo. Buemo. Killing him, Buemo. Oh, my gosh. Lingard doing Buemo. both ends. No one can keep hold of the ball. Oh, what is going oh, on? Our knee. Brendan Johnson! Why? Why? Why does he do this How every time? How many chances did the young lad want to have? <laughs> Brennan Johnson, I mentioned it earlier. He missed the open goal, scores the hardest chances. You're in the 88th minute. Just slot it, lad. It seems though like this game, the sport is going to be shared. Yeah, I mean, Damn. It's, it's only Whoa. fair. It's a, it, was a, it was a game of missed chances. Like we mentioned at halftime, it could have went was, either was, way. And it's just unfortunate that, you know, both teams couldn't score. That's um, a fiver for me. GG, you know? man. That was, that was a great game. GG. Uh, Brennan Johnson. That is a championship player. <laughs> bro, he's done that all season. That is, That's why that he's so is, annoying. Man. It's not once or twice. He's literally is, done it all season. That is wild. Flip. Well, welcome to the roundup after game week 28. Uh, we're going to start off at Villa Park. Aston Villa in the last minute of additional time. Mateta with the only goal in that game, which holds Leeds back a little bit. They're dropping down the table. And uh, their recent run of form that has helped them get up the table uh, seems to be dropping uh, Bournemouth <laughs> climbing out of the relegation zone slowly but surely. Dominic, Dominic Solanke and Alango with the goals there. Beating Newcastle, which means they drop down to sixth. Uh, so looking good for Bournemouth, despite the formation change from T and Geggs. He's doing his job and he's getting the points on the board. That's four points in two games. On to Fulham. Massive result for Mark Daniel. Uh, he's climbing away from the relegation zone. He's in 14th. 30 points and uh, two points above the drop zone. Mitrovic scoring again for him. But will Mitrovic be there at the end of the season? It's yet to be seen. Uh, meanwhile, M Man United disposing of Palace. And the only thing that will be released from Elise will be his contract. He does not want to be there anymore. Uh, Man United winning 2-1 there. And Palace look like they could be going down. And that relegation release clause will be activated by one of the Mandem. I can <laughs> assure you of that. Uh, Southampton is not looking good. Uh, Somerville, the signing from Leeds, uh, getting sent off there. And Tottenham, uh, a penalty from Harry Kane, giving them the victory in that game. So Danny Rye, the writing's on the wall at the moment. And it could be yet another stint in the clown suit yet to be seen. <laughs> I can't believe Thomas was wearing orange. Nah, I was wearing the wrong one as well. I had like, there's a baggy one that I bought. <laughs> it looks like a proper jumpsuit. It's so jarring. <laughs> You'd have been moving like them guys. What's that? Um, Beyond Scared Straight? And man, yeah. trying to get to the kids. <laughs> you don't want to be in it. <laughs> Y'all don't want to be in here. <laughs> Ain't nice out here. Y'all got it easy. <laughs> Y'all got it easy. Outside of <laughs> Is that they act like they're gonna beat up the kids? Yeah, yeah, that. I, I'll, I'll hold me back. Hold me back. <laughs> they know, yeah, they know full well they can't do that. You're not, you're not doing that. You know what I mean? Jams. Yes, man. Your bear yeah, quiet, saying, bro. Man. What's what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? I'm just sat here losing. Man said 17 <laughs> losses, fam. Nothing would I think my worst FM experience was that infamous safety <laughs> done where I was Swansea. I think I lost like 39 games. You can't lose 39 games. <laughs> Sorry, like, I was 37. <laughs> like, 37. That's something crazy, man. I remember like, I was just sat in. I, I didn't say a word. Every, every, I think. How every do you video, lose 37 games, every video, man? I said nothing, fam. I said nothing. I was just nah, what are you like going through, man? That was my worst experience ever, man. Nothing will, nothing will top that. Today, I am joined by Manny in the commentary. Manny, what do you think the difference is going to be here today, if there is one at all? Well, the difference is definitely oh. going to be who wants it more. And Southampton definitely have to be that side in this game because they are literally at the bottom of the table, uh, just above Palace, but it's not looking good for them. Danny Ryan needs to get some points on the board quickly. Otherwise, he could be in that boardroom yet again. 
oh, there's a panic in the box. I don't, I don't even know whose box it was. It, it happened so quickly. Is that because someone's in the tactics or was there just a complete mess up there? We have Liveramento on the ball. He's thrown it into the pitch. El Yanusi. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a Jay, massive, massive man, opportunity man. there. Jay Adams, sometimes just caress the ball. Deckard over Reed on the ball. And like I said, I can say it if I don't have to say it quickly. He passed the ball to Mitrovic. Oh. And in great form. Oh. Oh. Coletta car on a yellow card. Talk to me, Mav. What is he oh, doing there? Know. He's what going away from there? goal. Stay <laughs> on your feet. Penalty awarded. He has done there. He absolutely Mitro. did not need Mitro. to make that challenge. And Mitrovic now has a prime opportunity to put themselves in front. Oh, he saved it! <laughs> oh, Alex McCarthy okay. saves it and rotates his shoulders in celebration. It's still nil nil. <laughs> What a sequence of uh, of moves and moments that was. And this is why we love and hate FM all <laughs> in one moment. Mitrovic been in fine form and you'd bet your money, you'd bet your house and your pet gerbil on him scoring that goal. And Hopefully he just you failed to do so. be outside in a bin bag, my friend. <laughs> um, but we do have Fulham back on the ball. And right now they do seem to be the team in the ascendancy. Oh, yeah. Um, but they are playing around the back. Are they nervous? Are there are there hopes down today? He's in on goal. And Ketia, your defense is in trouble. Oh, oh. Sure no, Reed, no. Evander, oh. Oh the manager on the sidelines with some very vicious words as they were heading down the tunnel. I can't repeat what he said, but I'm pretty sure you'll hear about it on Sky Sports News later. But your thoughts on that first half? <laughs> My thoughts on that first half are two teams whose fortunes sometimes are up and sometimes are down. And that is how it looks right now. The shots just aren't connecting. A penalty for Fulham and they haven't managed to capitalize. Games like this is why these teams are struggling towards the bottom of the table. And like other teams, you need to finish the chances you get because three points are massive at this point of the season. I mean, at this point, like you said, three points, it's a, it makes a huge difference. People might think it's just one measly win, but... Three points would take Southampton potentially out of uh, the drop zone. And that's major for them as well. Um, but Southampton haven't really thrown any punches this game. We haven't seen anything. We haven't. We saw Che Adams with a massive opportunity early on. And since then, we just haven't seen any knockout blows thrown or any blows of any description for that matter. Oh, uh, from it's given away. And Ketia. And what has gone on there? That right there sums up Southampton's day. They're creating all of their own uh, he issues and problems. <laughs> and hey, bam, yo. Salisu, the positioning what of McCarthy. So many questions to be asked. And the booze ringing around the stadium at the moment. The Saints fans are not happy. And Ketia with the goal. It's 1-0 to Fulham. It's Carl on the ball, though. No, no, Gineppo! I've just, oh. gone, I've just gone four. And again... Southampton have a massive opportunity and they just can't capitalize. On, finish the game, finish the game. We have a corner oh. and Ful Fulham just put it like wide. I think that was Adarabayo, I believe, with that header there. Very good pronunciation there, Matt. Uh, yeah, that I is it, the though. One nil to Fulham. Southampton couldn't strike any deadly blow towards no their way. opponents. And Eddie and Ketia with a beautiful strike doing exactly that. One nil. Uh, Saints, it's not looking good at all. Yeah. Lucia Rike unveiled as New York Arsenal manager. Yeah. Oh, where did, man. where did he man. come from? Lewis Enrique got the Arsenal job. They didn't even say no silverware. That's the mad thing. They just said they feel Lewis Enrique is the right person to take it forward. Come on, we've got City, man. But I believe in you guys. Drop us, fam. Mm, here it goes. Ref! What are you doing? Oh if my that... goodness. I don't, mm. I, don't I don't understand. Why have you just got red carded for no reason? 11 minutes in middle of the park what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> honestly what the fuck is wrong with this team <laughs> man? this is 2-0 right here and i can feel it <sighs> go on Mbwemo. go on Mbwemo. Tony. <laughs> what a goal i'm sorry where do fulham think they're going in this table he's back one more chance, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance, one more chance. It's okay, we take that. <laughs> Why would you just smack a man middle of the park for like 11 Man, minutes I... in? I just don't <laughs> understand it. I don't understand it. I took him out still. For no reason. Like, what, for what reason? There was actually, there was actually no reason. I'd understand if I'd get stuck in on and all that shit. 
but I don't. So why are you just snapping yeah, the man? You have lost me the game, you fucking. <laughs> hey! <Yeah. laughs> I'm sorry. 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 I'm for the El Sacico, as it's been dubbed by many. Enzo Ferrari against Danny Rye, both struggling at the bottom of the table. And it's a match of the ages, really. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic um, opportunity to be here. Both teams, 20th and 19th. It's, these are vital. These, this is a six pointer, Manny, in my opinion. You know, these are crucial, crucial points that you have to get on the board. Both of them have a negative goal difference. So <laughs> it'll be very, very important to try and get goals on the score sheet. I think last time these two played, Gineppo did Ginep. So <laughs> to see if he can perform the same thing or if Elise can replicate the form that he had against Everton, two goals away in that game. So it'll be interesting to see if Enzo Ferrari and Danny Rye have. Have what it takes. I mean, speaking of interest in TN, I also see that Salisu, despite his mistake in the last game, makes it into the starting lineup and uh, he'll definitely be happy with that one. But he has a point to prove for Southampton and they definitely need these points. We're underway. Underway. El Sacico. He's playing almost the in the colours of Barcelona and Real Madrid, but not quite the quality. He's kicked it along. Oh, oh, it's it's a mistake at the back. Leonardo. It's been and the these... same old story. These are the chances that you have to take. Otherwise, you will get punished. The goal difference is damning. Minus 21 for the Saints. <laughs> and it's flipped on the other side, actually, for Palace with a minus 12 goal difference. But both sides are literally on the same points and they need this win. It must be the quickest sub of all time. That's crazy. Who got dragged? Oh, my goodness. My, my Danny Rice! Yeah. Southampton in behind. Side? Oh, is no. he onside? That is the key question. He Goal is. review. Goal, Goal awarded. awarded. One nil. Yeah. And those are a massive three points for Danny Rye. Can he hold on though? We know what this Crystal Palace team is like. Very shaky. I'm seeing a three at the back right now. Unsure as to why. Is it three? Right. Is it five? I don't really know what they're trying to do. They don't know if they want to attack or defend. And it seems like they're doing neither, to be honest. Um, as uh, Danny Rye <laughs> not wasting any time in making a huge substitution. And following that... Uh, his team have found the lead. You know, there could have been some questions asked about Kalita Car coming off, but it looks like it's working as of right now. Maybe too early to say anything. Oh, Elise! 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 Elise, Elise. Again, replicating that form against Everton. That's a fantastic goal. And the highlights are flying right now, I must say. Graven Birch, the only one in midfield in an interesting formation. He must have the engine of a Ferrari. So much space in midfield for the Saints, though. Graven Birch, look at him. He's out of his oh, depth. It's through to Che Adams! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Che Adams would have braced 14 minutes in. Three goals. It's a very exciting game, Manny. So, so exciting. And we did question uh, Enzo Ferrari's midfield, only going with Graven Birch in there. He looks lost. He looks like a deer in headlights. And he's just uh, nowhere to be found when they need him. As yet again, it breaks down in that middle, looking exposed once more as Carvalho... Pass a bit hey, short, but hey, Elianusi hey, makes yeah. the most of it. Oh, Elianusi! Oh, my. Graven Birch oh. again, quickly surrounded by so many Saints players. He's suffocated <laughs> in there. He's crying out for help. He looks over to the bench. Hey, that's Luis. He's Luis not getting anything. But Giancarlo Ramos! Giancarlo! Let's go! How are you getting away with one in midfield, bro? <laughs> bro, 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 bro. 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 No two, two. What an exciting game so far. Bro, this is what you want to see, team. right? Goals. And sometimes you got to wonder, how are these two teams at the bottom? It's been exciting to watch. Chances being taken, you got to wonder what they're doing in those other games. I would say you got to wonder because, but you can oh, see it here. It's just Carvalho. lapsing oh, concentration oh, after lapsing concentration. Oh, send you back to Liverpool. As Carvalho drives on wide. <laughs> Danny oh, Wright. Letting his frustration be known. It's broken down again. TN, this is why. This is why. This is why we're at the bottom. It's Jay Adams. Yes. Chai Adams stepping up like the big striker we know he can be. Wait, it's only the same. This I mean, one I in midfield. For, I do feel sorry for Graven Birch. I never, ever in my experience as a semi professional footballer and a Sunday league footballer, not that I play sentiment, <laughs> but I've never even seen it, let alone experienced it. Oh, I mean, you asked why these two teams are at the bottom. This is why. The defense is just open. And teams like Arsenal, your Chelsea's, your Cities, they're going to have a field day with defenses like this. And it's clearly been the case so far. He's moved over. He added an, an additional one in midfield because he could see Gravenberch was getting overrun on the counter attack every single time. But so will it be enough? To see, 
That's the question, Manny. Will it, will it be, be enough? enough? I, I don't know. I don't think it will. He might be. already have gassed out. It might even be the best decision to substitute him as Southampton look to string some passes together. This will be a massive win for them if Danny Rye and his men can hold on to the points. But yet, a lot of football to be played. So we'll see what happens. And I think there's definitely more goals in this game. And Elise been the star for Palace so far. He spread the play out wide. It's gone to Edward in the end. Cuts it back, Malay. Elise, grab a punch! Oh, He's got energy oh, for the oh, shot. Oh. This is the El Sakako TN. And clearly it's just that. Both oh. teams, neither can defend. Just a flurry of goals. I, I, want, I wonder if it'll be 6-6 six, six by the end of this game, the way things are going. I mean, I like wouldn't put it past them at all. I mean, Danny Ride there scrunching up his notepad as yet again, his team have let him down defensively. Uh, Enzo Ferrari will be spurring on the troops in the changing room and we'll see what happens in the second half. Into the second half, more football to be played and hopefully more goals, TM. Hopefully, man. I mean, it was, a, it, you know, a joy to watch that first half. And sometimes you've got to be grateful that defences are so bad because you get to see goals. I mean, you don't want to get drab games like we have had in the past. But I mean, at some point you want to see someone say, OK, let's be professional and not make it look like a Sunday league game. Who will be that side, though? Over an hour played in this game. The XG looking very high for Crystal Palace. They are the home side. You've got to think the home fans will be unhappy with conceding oh, three goals so easily at home. As Che Adams, who's already scored three, looks Adams. to make it four. Yes, man, a very exciting game. Both teams having over 10 plus shots. A good amount. You've got to be taking your chances. And we have an opportunity here. Malag with the cross inside. He's no! running. Oh, it's good. Carlo it's... Ramos. Go, Carlo. Go, Carlo. <laughs> You can see the manager jubilated on the touchline. And for the first time in this game, Crystal Palace have taken the lead. Yes, they've taken the lead, TM. But will they be able to hold on to the lead? Enzo Ferrari pumping his old fists. But uh, will his team be able to show up the defence? I don't want to be that guy, but I remember Jams talking about a 53 that he saw on that website. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Questions over the formation. I'm sure we can assess those after mm -hmm. the game is done. And oh, if found guilty... We know the repercussions. <laughs> uh, I, imagine Jams gets a 15 point. Defense. Oh You're my on. goodness! Oh, <laughs> what I'm going to say, Let's you changed. Man. I won't be the one to sit in it. He chipped the keeper. 5 3. <laughs> Some are saying like, it's not the same thing that, that this is something the, uh, similar to seen on the website as F on FM Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding up the games this week, we start with the human versus human match of Bournemouth putting the sword and axing those trees down. Nottingham Forest losing 3-1 to Bournemouth. The Cherries are well and truly on the march yet again. New formation, new Thomas, same results. Wins, wins, wins. We move on to Brentford. 1-1 one, one with Man City. What a result that is. He's trying to show Arsenal what they're missing, bringing results like that against the big Man City who are currently second in the Premier League. Moving on to the game we just witnessed. Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Question marks over the formation being used by Enzo Skoda. However, there are no questions over the result. It was a 5-3 win there for Crystal Palace, uh, taking them a little bit out of the relegation zone on goal difference. So massive, massive points for him. Fulham, after their rich vein of form, the form has ended. And Everton have put them to the sword. 2-1 Everton. Mitrovic was able to score yet again, but it wasn't enough for them to win the game, unfortunately. But we have Leeds going away, or home, to Brighton, should I say. Solly March tried his best to get the result that swung their way. However, Patrick Bamford returned the favour of scoring a 90-second minute equal, uh, winner. Sorry, So Leeds, 2-1 against Brighton. I can't do this. I actually so you're can't. Mav, you like, again. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> not in good forest. Not for the first time this, this season. So Teten. Nketiah. Tete. Mitrovic. Oh, allow it. Allow it, FM. It's 1-0. Oh, speaking side. of squad, Adam Rabio has just bagged. It's 2-0. Not in good forest sliding down the table. Maybe even getting themselves into a relegation scrap. Who knows? E, oh, let's go. Brennan Johnson pulls one back. Of course you can score now, you f Oy! Steady, <laughs> man. Hey, that, that Editor's going to have to be... <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're not even going to hit anyone else. 
<laughs> we apologize for those words there. You know, that come like Sky Sports fan. Uh, yeah, 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 right. Your defense is in trouble. Your defense is in trouble. You get us in the room. Your defense is in trouble. Wait, mum is actually like coaching. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to hear it from you. Not why you're wearing a clown suit and, you, and you've got that God Squad over there. You're a fucking relegation strap. Shut your mouth. I do not want to hear it from you. Anyone else, but not from you. Hello and welcome to Southampton versus Brentford. Today I'm joined by a new co-host this time, Mark, aka Coins. How are we doing today, man? I'm doing amazing. Just got a lovely resort. All right. <laughs> Not in the forest. I'll, I'll, I'll swing. I'll start swinging. I'll start swinging. I swear. Nah. Cool. We have someone trying oh, to get off the commentator's books. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, yeah, hopefully nice security, security can keep them away for now, you know. But uh, back to the game. Very interesting game here. We have Southampton who currently sit at bottom of the table and are in dire need of some points. And we also have Brentford who are on a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a weird run right now. I think they drew their last game, but they do have two games in hand over um, a team on top of them, which is Leeds. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of game unfolds today. Come what on do you the today, Mark? Oh, I'm a bit worried. Southampton are still lining up with Salisu and Coletta Carr. <laughs> You know that car hasn't been going anywhere. Oh, oh, he you just said it. Oh, oh my god! I know nah, that oh, guy gotta go, go man. Yeah, he's going again. He, he's gotta go, bro. What is <laughs> happening? He tried to be the like kid. That's the third, <laughs> the third time that I've seen Kalia Car do that. It's 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 just scary, really. Oof. Oh, throwing Livermento, arguably one of the best right backs in world football or in the Premier League, one of the best young right backs. Into Carvalho. Trying to cause a nuisance on the Do wing. Not He's got foul man. Him. My value got past more support, man. On. Into the hands of Raya once again. You got to wonder, Mark, what can Danny do here to score these goals? The team is just in dire need of something. I don't know. Half time, teams go in equal. Not really seen much on the Brentford side, to be honest. A lot more from Southampton in terms of highlights, but the expected goal says otherwise. But one thing we do know is that expected goals. Don't win games. It's all about those conversions. So it'll be interesting to see what the second half has and whether Brentford can actually break the deadlock or even Southampton. Umbremo. Umbreme. This guy, fam, he's so hot and cold, fam. Flipping lukewarm tea, bruv. No one likes that, do they? <sighs> Umbremo. Umbremo. <laughs> killy, killy. <laughs> killy, killy. <laughs> Embuemo, oh embuemo, embuemo, ah. <laughs> One nil, big goal. First real chance that. No! That but that it's not to be. Killian, or should I say Brian, not making the run at the right time. And we're back to nil nil. Come on. And you get it in. Killian! Can. Killian and Buemo into oh, Red oh, oh, oh. One nil. By the looks of things, that is on side, and things are just going from bad to worse. Sucked now, in the morning. No, don't give away. Opportunity here, hey, Adams. Adam, 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 we spoke too soon. Gone quiet the manager there. deleted their <laughs> tweets. It's all gone quiet over there. Sacked in the morning calls were being made five seconds ago, and they're not being heard anymore. Raya taking his time. He's rolled it out. Go on. Get that into, All this work get that into Rasmus. Ivan Tony. I know Rasmus is there waiting for it. Get that into Rasmus. Roslev. Go on. Tony. Oh. Tony. Oh, he shot everyone up. Come on. He's Shh. got his goal. He has his hands to his You're ears. You're not singing. You're not singing. That is the Ivan Tony we do know and love. And it could be a long day. He can see clearly that he's on side. Fantastic finish. And it's Come always Silas who the last man. Always the last man debating to put everyone on side. <laughs> Someone in the change. chat said, Jams, come outside, you lizard. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for no reason. <laughs> Just, no, buddy, why did you read that? <laughs> it caught me off guard. Hey, and Bemos throw a goal and he's missed again. Oh, he... oh, Jams, is that your friend in the chat or something? No, I'm not going to I thought it was actually your boy. Oh, so what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so random, man. <laughs> what the heck? Damn, and the damn. game is just ending just like that. Very and bad there we have it. 2-1. Huge win. Come on, Brentford the bees. Unfortunate. Away the bees. The Maldives. Hey, Danny, how many losses in a row is that, G? However many games we played today. 
<laughs> hey, Danny's <laughs> one away from the. <laughs> No, no, that is. That's five losses, hey. Yeah, that's five. Wait, no. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it five. Is. One, two, three, four, five. Like, damn. Bro, oh, he's... yeah, Dean Henderson's Brother's out for five weeks. Now, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah cool. I, he's getting I, everything. I, honestly, I cannot wait to see Mavis' face right now. I know he's smiling, oh, but the, the anger within is just... Hey, like Mav got dragged point, into man. this relegation scrap, you know. <laughs> he's the <laughs> first team keeper has just yeah, been injured yeah, for five wait, weeks. Wait, what's your no fixtures, G? Is that, is that the rest up, of the season? Manny, shut up. What's your hey, vision? You about, hey, 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 steady shut now. Up. Hey, shut I'm up. not the one injuring your players. I don't care, man. Let's see. Oh. Everton, Newcastle, West Ham. You got easy run still. It's easy when half my players are suspended <laughs> or injured for being mugs. Oh, Tony! Yeah. Come on. Let's go, Tony, man. Come on. Yeah, do it. Oh, oh my gosh. I should have locked it up. Or maybe not. Marmosh, end it, end it, end it, end it. You're so trash. Come on, Damn. please. Yes. Oh, my heart <laughs> Nothing was more important than that moment. I'm just out of the relegation zone right now. Mm. Just pulled me oh in. Oh, my God. No, don't <sighs> me off game. Don't. So off, man. <laughs> This is it's too soon. Oh my god! Hey, Son, Son and Ivan Tony have that no Liverpool way. Thing. What? Yes, 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 In the yes. 90th. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, jams, lock up. Jams, lock it up, jams, lock it up man. Jams, lock it up. No man, wait, this is all one nothing, man. Come on, Chelsea. <laughs> go on, go on. Chelsea, go, Chelsea. Wojtberg, skip. It's so silly, bro. The way it loves off these big teams. Go, go. It loves off these big teams, bro. You're a genius with a hop, skip, and a finish. This game is so rigged, bro. Go on. Spence. Spence. Please, please. Yeah, I came. Wait, 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 wait. There's a pen. Uh, Jams is trying to do shouts. <laughs> 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 Save it! Save it! Jams is trying to do shots! He caused it to shot from the He caused it to shot and then no option! <laughs> He's praying the same way he prayed earlier, fam. Aye, the FM gods got you, man. Whatever happens, happens, bro. Jams playing the tip, The more I click, the more, <laughs> more click it will change it. It will increase my odds. <laughs> I didn't even get to see it. The keepers move out the way. Oh my god! I didn't even get to see it. What have I just seen? By the way, the keeper just moves out the way. Oh my god! This game is so. Nah, I thought someone was gonna take that penalty. Uh, oh my gosh! Jabs, why did he move out the way like that? I don't, what, if I'm your, you're, you're telling me. <laughs> Some might call this the biggest match of the day. And I am one of them. Drew, what do you expect to see here? Historically, this game means more than you'll ever understand. <laughs> Both managers, head to head. I'm looking forward to this spectacle. We've currently got Jams playing a formation that makes no sense to anybody that's ever watched football or understands football. And hope for, he's hoping it brings results we don't expect, which is beating an informed Brentford team. Mm, it looks a bit reminiscent of a Poke Bowl. You know, Jams <laughs> loves that from his personal endeavours. However, some uh, little echoings of the, the voyage and being from FM Arena. <sighs> Not going to go too deep into that. Let's get into the game. This is a stalemate if I've ever seen one. 27 minutes yeah. in. We've not seen a lot from Ivan Tony since the rumors of him going to sunny, sunny Madrid. Come on, oh. Brandon Birch. But that being said, our first highlight. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony. Come on, Ivan. Is he about to prove me so wrong? Go on. His boots Ivan on Tony. Line. Ivan. And, ah! and that is what we are talking about. He just does not seem himself right now. Ivan hey, Tony has scoring. to move. Come on, Birch. Come on, my keeper. Raya with the save. Gathered very, very easily and confidently by Raya. Has had some shaky moments in the season. Raya! So Come off the ground! Save there. And that's a horrible challenge. The silver Go on! Hickey. Hickey over the top. Ivan oh! Tony! Oh, and again! A massive word. chance falls to Ivan Tony. That block was huge. Right, that keeper needs to be flogged. 
Hopefully, one of these teams gives us something a little bit more to shout about because that first half, uh, I, I feel Brentford should have taken the few opportunities uh, yeah. that they did get and, and it might re uh, turn around to hurt them, unfortunately. Seven shots in total, five going to Brentford. None on target for Brentford and one on target for Palace. There's not enough clinicality in this game, to be perfectly honest. Come on, Silva. And, uh, Silva. Tony. Go, Go on. on. Marmosh. Marmosh. Oh, a decent effort. It's forced yeah. to save from Johnston. Again, it's the same situation. They get a massive opportunity. They just can't put it away. And Hoyland. manager yeah. Manny Brown will be very, very annoyed if this continues. Oh, we need this, man. It seems that they changed from a 4-3-3 to a 4 triple 2 getting Hoyland on off the bench. He is a potent so, track. Uh, Him and go on. Hoyland! Is his best it's his best the pairings you'll see across the league. And is Ricky Jade, the Silva, Jensen. Jensen. Ref, go down! Oh, They're having so, so many the chances. Bags, Come on, they cannot do anything about it right now. They cannot put these chances away. Jensen. It looks Boyland. like my, no, no, Tony. Oh, oh, one more oh, pass and he's in oh, oh, Go on, Jensen. Hoyland, Tony, what is oh, going oh, on? This is crazy. They just cannot, cannot. Get that ball on target and get the goal that is required right now. I cannot quite believe what I am witnessing right now. Honestly, I just hope that these misses, they just don't come to Black Brentford back in the pump. Just not I'm... hitting the target. There's yeah. no I way it. you're about to do on. this to me. Oh. I thought a penalty oh, was about to be called given on there. Bar. Here we go. What is Malak going is on? Oh. What a catch. It's interesting going to a full spread. And spread it out wide. That's where they seem to be having some joy here. Palace what Mitchell again on. hitting the byline. What? Get him off. No. Elbow. Oh. He's walking. No way. Rabenberg He's elbowed him. You can see I... the frustration in the manager's face. You can see the frustration around Selhurst. I know how that one feels. I've been on the receiving end of far too many red cards in big games, and it is something very, very frustrating because there's nothing you can do about it. Once you send them men out there, it's up to them to make the right decisions. And and Graven Birch showed his immaturity right now because that was not the right decision. And this has put Jams under a lot of pressure now. Man, I mean, you have to ask. He's oh. not very defensive, but he hasn't changed the mentality. The mentality Are you serious? Like, Chop him down! <laughs> Oh, oh, really, man? Oh, Why'd you cheap? Why'd you massive chip it? opportunity. Why'd you chip it? You Jam, idiot. Jam, you did well. He lost his head. That was Sealed the opportunity. It. And if Jam is in the way with all the points, what here, is going this is on? This is about to be a craziness. If we slump, oh, oh, oh go on, Marmosh! 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 Yes! Oh, no! Get out the back of your flipping net, Jam! <laughs> he missed in the last minute and then he gives the ball away, which leads to them conceding. That is forever in my shadow! They shut up shop, but they didn't put the locks on. Why would you be cautious? Just be extra very defensive. Like. So, for the final game of the episode, we have uh, the roundup Bournemouth. Winning 3-0 against West Ham, a massive win, and it takes them into 13th and away from the drop zone, but only by three points. Remember that it's very tight yeah. at the bottom. Crystal Palace fall into defeat against Brentford, which will see them drop back into the relegation zone on 29 points with a goal difference of minus 15. It's not looking good for Enzo Ferrari. Meanwhile, Fulham fall into defeat against Manchester United. Anthony and Casemiro with the goals there uh, to give them that win. And... Um, Leeds United beating Arsenal, surprisingly, even though Arsenal heavily rotated this side, they came out with the result they needed and 3-1, which sees them in ninth position. Nottingham Forest uh, managing to bounce back. Awonyi with a double. Lingard and Mangala on the score sheet. A 4-1 victory. A very resounding uh, win against Everton. And uh, Southampton, it's not getting any better for them. Or Danny Rye, 2-0 uh, down to Villa. And they couldn't uh, pack a punch at all. But that is your roundup. There it is. For this day and uh, just quickly on the earnings so we're going to start with thomas who got reset to uh, zero pounds on 15 pounds we've got uh, danny on 20 pounds jams on 30 pounds myself on 80 mark on 90 pounds mav on 60 pounds and drew at the top with 150 pounds to his name and currently he's still in the race for the thousand pound prize at the end yet Still a lot to be played for. We'll see how it ends, but make sure you don't miss it in the next episode.